Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack. And the nerfs are finally in. Some of the god comp specs for Mythic Plus have been nerfed, as well as a couple different buffs uh, to a number of different classes. So, uh, Unholy DK notably is getting a couple of damage buffs going into it, with Guardian Druid getting some of its damage reduced by 8%, which for me, I'm really glad that they're not affecting a lot of like Guardian Druid's tankiness. It feels like we haven't really seen Guardian be like in a really powerful spot for a while, so I'm kind of glad they're not messing with it. Augmentation of Ochre, of course, adding a significant amount of damage to their party with the utility survivability. For this week, we'd like to reduce some of the damage contributions from their buffs to help bring them more in line with other classes. Breath of Eons is now accumulating 10% of damage done, and Fate's Mirror's chance to proc's been reduced to 10% was 15%. I'm kind of surprised by them changing around Fate Mirror, but I also think that the amount of nerfs for augmentation are going to continue for quite a while. They basically like, obviously built a support spec, called it a DPS, said it's gonna be in the DPS role, but then just give it gobs of support. So personally, I'm under the impression that uh, before we get into 10-2, before we get into the next season, they'll announce some nerfs and we'll be looking at like season three of them bringing down the value of augmentation. But in general, they still pipe. <laughs> They're still so insanely good. And I still think that because the utility is going to be so high, that will bring down their damage a little bit. It might make keys a little more difficult. I don't think we're at a point where keys are capped yet, but they're still going to be insanely strong. Marks, notably getting some damage buffs. Kind of oddly hodgepodge of like which specs are getting buffs. You got Unholy, you got Marks. Moving on, Fire gets a load of nerfs, number of 10% nerfs coming in. While Frost Mage, surprisingly, also getting more nerfs uh, coming into it as well. You weren't seeing, of course, Frost be as powerful, but I guess part of it is also getting prepared for maybe another mage spec that people would play if Fire was nerfed a little bit too heavily. Holy Paladin, however, all healing reduced by 5%. I think this one's actually quite fair. Uh, Paladin just generally was cranking healing at a much higher level than everybody else. Uh, Light's Protection is damage reduction from Glimmer on targets. It's now 10%, and it's split between the amount of Glimmers that you have. So putting Glimmer onto all your allies is still giving 2% damage reduction, which is still excellent instead of the 3, 3.5 or so. So that's still really good. That's basically what Priest has with Leniency, um, or Lenience. Overflowing Light, creating Absorbs for 30% of Glimmer's overhealing was 50. I don't think this really makes much of a big deal at all, uh, because I believe the cap is still based off of uh, percentage of health. And so, I mean, you're still providing just like side Absorbs and everything here and there. Tears Deliverance nerf is actually kind of big, going from 25% healing bonus to 15%. Obviously, the spec is still going to crank, but I think this is one of the areas where you probably will notice it more of not being able to have quite as much burst when you're trying to pump up everybody's health pools together, uh, particularly when you're using like Daybreak combos where you're trying to blast really heavy shocks into your allies to top them quickly, have it transfer into beacon healing and everything like that. Uh, Summer, getting nerfed from 30% down to 20% additional damage. Fading Light, creating the Absorb for 3% of the healing or damage done from Holy Power Generators was 10%. I believe that is the personal buff that you have on the class tree for Holy Paladins. So that might bring down a little bit of Holy Paladin survivability, but like they're still insanely tanky. So making sure you're on point with like Divine Protection and making sure you're actually casting a couple of heals in yourself, sure. But this 100% I understand. Uh, Righteous Judgment, having a lower chance to activate Consecrate. I kind of don't like that one as much because they're already reducing Consecrate damage by 25%, which I think is absolutely warranted. Uh, when it can, Holy Paladin has always had this, where just dropping Consecrate does a crazy amount of their overall damage, and not a lot of other healers have that ability to just, like hit one button every 10, 12 seconds, and then have it do like half of their overall damage, 30% of their overall damage, 40%, whatever it is. Uh, Consecrate's been pretty insane for quite a while, so... I actually think that's like a good way to properly like nerf the spec when it's doing, you know, 10, 20 K more than everybody else. So overall, I'd actually say these are pretty good changes that Holy Pally is coming in with. Ret Pally getting a couple damage buffs and on to the side of Priest. Vamp Embrace is now healing a nearby ally for 40% of its damage done instead of 50%, which is kind of a feels bad for the Dis Priest who are still messing around with uh, Vamp Embrace or still utilizing Vamp Embrace, particularly in an M plus environment. 
But, like, you have Leech on hand to be able to help you, and it's not like it was that strong to begin with. Discipline, notably, noticeably, is not performing as well as we'd like, so for this week, we're increasing their atonement healing. <laughs> From 36% to 40%, just like they did three weeks ago! <laughs> oh my goodness. But, in a future patch, big news here, guys, we are working on a redesigning on redesigning some of their talent options and making tuning adjustments there as well. The rework is confirmed for Disc Priests. So hallelujah, thank goodness. I really, really deeply hope that there's a few adjustments to what Disc is going to be bringing to the table, particularly with the Light's Wrath Tree. I think that's the primary area that they could be buffing the spec for rating. And I think that they really need to redesign some of like the Harsh Discipline, Expiation, Twilight Equilibrium, some of like the really GCD heavy abilities that are also insanely powerful. Because you have to invest a lot of talent points into all three of those talents, cast a lot of spells to be able to activate Harsh Discipline, or you're constantly refreshing and maintaining your uh, Purge the Wicked, of course, when you're dealing with Expiation. These are all like very GCD heavy things, including Twilight Equilibrium, which sort of like take up your time and mental attention when playing the spec. And they don't always need to be so... One, we don't need to have so much bloat, but another, we don't need to be tracking so many different buffs and debuffs just to play the spec properly. So I'm hoping for them to get away from a lot of the button bloat and anxiety that, that needs to be felt by a healer in Mythic Plus. I really hope that they do something with Squid in particular. I think that could be an amazing sort of tuning knob that they could utilize for Mythic Plus, especially if you're getting like splash AoE atonement healing out of the Squid's attack. I think that stuff would be so cool. We'll see. I have a whole video about how to save disc a couple weeks back and everything. If you guys want to check it out on the channel, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. But yeah, very, very exciting to be able to see. So the Rhapsody is actually a huge change where you're actually having it stack every one second instead of two seconds and causing it to deal more damage per stack for Holy. This is a freaking banger because not only is it a damage increase, but when using this in a raiding environment, it's even more healing. Like... Rhapsody's already sort of like a stealth amazing ability to have on hand, giving you just a fat burst of healing all the time. And now you're going to be able to weave it in about every 20 seconds or so for a huge burst of healing. Uh, I, I kind of love this. It's a little bit odd to see a Holy Priest raid buff coming in, in particular, or a Mythic Plus buff. But hey, that's great. <laughs> Shadow Priest, Vamp. Uh, Shadow of Pain, Shadowy Apparitions, all getting nerfs, and healing from Vamp Embrace is no longer reduced in PvP, so to counteract the nerfs, of course, that they had for the baseline ability themselves. Outlaw Rogue, I haven't seen this spec in ages. Um, having all their ability damage increased by 5% and auto attack damage increased by 5%. Warrior with the Ravage damage and Thunderous Roar damage being increased, and Fury with their improved whirlwind, increasing your next single target ability by 55% instead of 50. Pretty cool to be able to see a few of the melee buffs coming in. I know Enhance has always been doing like pretty well, but it was just getting outclassed by the heavy caster comps. So it's really interesting to see a lot of buffs coming in for physical damage. And of course, to be able to see it for the more magic damage oriented melee like Rhett and Unholy coming in. Pretty much the biggest losers of this new season have been a lot of the melee specs that were just not doing enough damage, not fitting like the augmentation burst profile, whatever it might be. And so in a key environment, having more melee DPS being valuable in their own right also makes it easier for like priest healers who do not have a kick or other healers that have longer kicks, cooldowns, to be able to be brought into a mythic plus environment because you have you know, the tank and a melee on hand to be able to deal with those kicks. One of the biggest things with Holy Paladin is that they had the added pressure of also being a melee kick the entire time. And so there's the sort of split attention given to kicks, given to healing, given to do damage whenever they have time. And so more melee getting buffed and not running with like pure caster comps is only going to be a good thing, I think, for healers. We're just sort of reducing the overall damage, adding some more variety to the dungeon environment. I don't think this is going to knock off augmentation yet. Uh, I'm kind of curious if it's going to do enough to fire mage, if maybe something like Unholy EK could be represented a little bit further as well. I would be pretty surprised to see Rhett Paladin get brought, 
but if the buffs are high enough, it could be a really good thing, again, to also have more variety in which healers can be brought, because if Rhett is really good on its own right, then you're not going to feel as much pressure to have the toolkit of a Holy Paladin as well. So these are really good ways that they could actually balance Mythic Plus, and hopefully not just like hard cap out everybody's keystones in the process as well. I'm pretty excited about this. And of course, when the disc changes and disc redesign and everything starts coming around, I will be there ready to go for all of the updates. Make sure you guys sub to the channel if you haven't already. Huge thanks to the Patreons who make this all possible. I love you faces. And thanks so much for checking out our quick update.